reading the info that comes with the new album, the question in my mind was, what's the meaning for you of the release of a new album? You've released so many albums. I know, eventually one of them's got to stick, you know. <laughs> it's what I do. I, I, I mean, I enjoy um, doing music. You can cry a million tears You can wait a million years If you think time will change your ways Don't wait too long The SWR band asked me over originally to make a Christmas album of swing, you know, the classics. I thought it sounded interesting. I'd never done anything like that before. I looked them up and, and saw that they're a very reputable band of, in that genre, one of the best. And I went along and it was great fun. Maybe I've got a lot to learn. The vague concept was something a little bit more uh, what we used to call R&B and make a kind of classic sounding pop, solely kind of album really. Yeah. So we, uh, just got together and picked a bunch of tunes and the band wrote some arrangements and uh, off we go. Make romance in mind, break your heart. And it sounds that simple, it probably wasn't that simple. In a way it was because uh, these are really good, proper professional musicians, not like me, you know. I mean, I'm just self-taught and all the bands I've been in, it, 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 it takes a long time to put things together and arrangements and stuff, but they, these guys are incredible. Your crime won't help you, babe. No, your crime won't help you, babe. No, your crime won't help you, because you've been so mean to me. You extensively called this, in the first place, a tribute to B.B. King. For those who don't know B.B. King... Oh. Shoot them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what did he do with your development yourself? Did he touch something? Did he enrich something? He's just one of many, many heroes and people that I admire. Um, I got to play with him on a, an album that he made called Deuces Wild. He made that some of it in London and I, I was there to play organ, but I ended up singing two or three songs on it as well. And it was just a fantastic experience, you know. I wouldn't say he had a special, special thing, but he's just a part of the whole tapestry, I suppose. You know, there's so many great people that you pick, you just pick stuff up. You know. The way you've been treating me, I just don't understand. Paul, when I was at school, in high school, I got this album from my brother, my elder brother. Really? So he gave it to me, and he said, you have to listen to how long. And that's been a big hit single, a big hit here in the Netherlands as well. On the flip side, it says, um, born Sheffield, April 22, 1951. A musical career, Paul was with various semi-pro bands in and around Sheffield's area. At the age of 17, you went to the continent and played the discos and army bases for a while. He helped to form Warm Dust, which stayed together for three years. Then he joined Ace in March 1973. That's actually 50 years ago. Uh, music All right. influences, the Beatles and Billy Preston. Yeah, I love Billy Preston. I mean, uh, it wasn't a great idea to try to emulate Billy Preston because he was just incredible. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I actually started out on drums, you may not know that, but I switched to organ because I wanted to join the local soul band. Well, that didn't take so long, huh? Back with you on the old tube. It is Countdown, Europe's number one rock show with right here, Paul Carrick, Mike Rutherford from Mike and the Mechanics. The big success, did, did it come quite unexpected for you, Paul? Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, as Mike said, I, I went down to um, the studio and 
sang uh, three or four songs, and I didn't think any more about it really. The album was, took several months to come out, mm -hmm. but um, I thought it was very strong material. But you know, you just you just don't know. When I listen to your voice on the album, it's still in the same shape. How do you keep it in shape? Keep using it. Use it or lose it, I think they say. Yeah. You know, touch wood. Everybody keeps saying, you know, how long before, you know, obviously I guess there'll come a time, but I mean, you know, my, some of my heroes were singing well into their old age, you know, B.B. King, Ray Charles, uh, Van. Said if you ever Change your mind about leaving, leaving me behind. I'm really pleased with the vocals on this record. I think it sounds quite rich. It's changed, definitely. I have to be a little more economical with the uh, high stuff. I don't go there all night, you know, so I've developed a, a bigger range. And I try to stay healthy. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a health nut, but I don't smoke and I don't uh, drink hard liquor. I like wine, but um, who knows? But, but as I say, I think it's important to keep using it. Oh, bring it to me. Bring it, sweet love. Bring it on home to me. Yeah. Yeah. How do you prepare yourself? for the setting of such an album. Do you need to treat things differently because it's a big band or while well knowing that they're different musicians? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just, I adapt. That's my gift, if you like, is that, um, you know, I have a musical thing and I can speak the musical language. I can't get too technical because I don't, as I say, I'm taught myself. I never had a music lesson or anything. But um, voice-wise, uh, yeah, you just find, find your way. It was a challenge, I've got to say, you know, to, to record with them originally and then do the quite big concerts with them and stand at the front and, okay, how's this work? But that's, that's been my life. That's how I've, I've always been winging it, you know. Bring it on home to me. Yeah. 